everyone, welcome back. I am back. I think I was supposed to be here last week and I did not remember until the next day. And that leads me to what we are talking about today, which is the month of momming. Uh, I don't know about all of you, but August is a tough month, especially for the parents out there. Um, I think there's a lot of things that are working cross-functionally or working at, at odds with each other. So kind of leading to the last few days of summer, wanting to squeeze out all the juiciness of that, all of the infrastructure that maybe has been keeping your kids busy around camps and uh, things like that have fallen through, maybe aren't happening anymore. Um, and so kids are at home more all, all day and having to figure out how you're going to work and make sure the kids are being well taken care of. That's on the docket in August, as well as um, school shopping, getting things ready for the new school year, having to figure out what's going on on the school's timelines because they have open houses and um, different events that you need to or are, your presence is being requested at. Um, there may be nerves with your children around getting them all going. And I don't know about you, but I know for me in August, because Summer has been so summery, which has been great, right? Vacations, they're usually kind of winding up in June and July. Um, and the kids are, you know, have been home for a while. And so August to me, I get this urge to kind of want to like really dive into my work. Like I want to get creative and I want to, um, I, I just have this energy burst that happens kind of in the beginning of August, end of July. And um, and then, you know, the infrastructure of childcare kind of starts to, goes from unpredictable to non-existent. Um, and the um, pressures around school and ramping up goes up. The desire to really savor the last few, I know for the folks out West who are sweltering in the heat, you may not want to hear this, but it's fall here in Maine, or at least fake fall. It is beautiful and it's 50 degrees in the morning and it's cooled off. And so we know that winter is coming. And so, so you know, wanting to squeeze out the last bits of summer and I know for us, both of our children are born in August. And so that means birthdays on the day of, birthday parties, coordinating birthday parties, following up with birthday parties, birthday shopping, um, the whole gamut. That was August. And this August, because I had that drive to, uh, to work, I was doing my imposter syndrome series, which check it out if you have not yet. I launched a talk. I was preparing to launch a class for September. And then August hit me, the end the last two weeks of August hit me like a freight train. So I often say being a mom and being an entrepreneur is like riding two horses with one ass. August was like riding two bucking Broncos with one ass. And um, so this year, what I learned is it's not really the time to, you know, that urge to want to create, want to get out there, want to ramp things up, um, needs to hold off a little bit. Because the infrastructure of support, at least for me and for many of my working mom friends out there, is just not there. Not yet. It's coming but it's not here yet. And so um, this, what I did, I want to share a strategy with you. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the leaders out there. If you are a leader and you know you have parents and you know school, start a school is coming, I know we think, oh yeah, school's ramping up, but you don't really, but I think what's easy to forget is the immunization records, the uh, for those who have to go school shopping and be fighting the crowds and getting finding the Ticonderoga pencils and the pink pearl erasers and the this kind of composition book, not that kind of composition book, and all of those things. It is a Herculean effort. 
There's a lot that happens behind the scenes, a lot of pressures that come up. And so while there's a drive to kind of ramp things up, there's also a demand that really can't go anywhere else. It can be shared amongst the parental unit. And if you're lucky, you have family members nearby that can help with it or friends. But in all honesty, like those pressures, those conversations with your kids, those um, needing to sign everything and sign your, your all of those documents, stay on top of the communication because there's a lot of information coming your way. All of that fire hose to the face of oncoming launching is a reality. It's a stark reality. So if you're a leader, I encourage you to have some grace for the parents. It will get, it will suck for a little bit, but it will get better uh, very soon after. Okay. That's one thing. Number two, I just, uh, what I have done is I have put on my calendar July, I think I put it for on July 20th or something like that. I said, remember, August is the month of momming because that is my top priority, right? It always is. Every day is the month of mom is, is the day of momming. However, August is more intense. It's going to take over. And I want to remember that for every August that I have my kids here to come because I don't want to get blindsided like I was this August. Um, and I feel it. I feel like I've I've had to learn this lesson a lot of times. And so whatever your month of momming is, whether it's August, whether it's whenever, you know, December often is the month of, of momming. Um, whatever those months are, put it in your calendars now so that you know for it for future times. Um, and you can prepare, you can rearrange your life accordingly. Oh gosh, this is not going live. Is that true? Why did I see? Okay, hold on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe this is still live. I don't know. It said an error occurred. Um, I'm going to check. Wonderful. So hopefully this is going, hopefully this is launching, hopefully you can see me. Um, but I just want to share that with you. If you, this was a hard month, you are not alone. And um, if you know of hard weeks or hard months in your calendar year, put it on your calendar a little bit in advance so that you can plan around it, not only um, for the upcoming months, but for years to come. Anyway, I Wish you, I, if you have made it across the finish line called the first day of school, I just high five to you and I will see you all next week. All right. Take care.